All right, what's up, Dragon Brew? Today we're gonna go on an interesting ride. In the beginning of the season, we did like a Urza artifact deck, which was kind of neat, but we've learned a lot of things since then. And I wanna do an update and see if those things make a difference. Plus, we now know what the metagame looks like. So let's go see what a new version of this looks like and if it's any good on the standard ladder. All right, as usual, you need to check out our sponsor, ultrapro.com slash power dragon. Use promo code power dragon at checkout. They will save you 5% and they'll give a kickback here to the channel. All right, let's hop into this deck list. We're gonna start with three Skrells. This is something that I think is just still really good. It's an artifact creature, it can protect your stuff, especially in mono black matchups. So we're not gonna turn our nose up at this. We're gonna play some Ossification. This card's actually really good as well. And it's not something I think we included in our earlier versions. We're gonna have one counter spell in the deck. Well, technically three, but one card, and that's Disruption Protocol, because we have so many counters, I mean, so many artifacts, we wanna actually see if this actually gets to do anything. But then getting into the artifacts we're gonna play here, we're gonna be playing some Surge Engine because this card's actually really neat, especially if we can make it unblockable. Patchwork Automaton, because when you have 20 plus artifacts, there's a good chance this is gonna be a 4-4 or 5-5 on the regular. We're gonna try a couple of copies of Soulless Jailer. This is because, well, we want to see if we can stop those attracts of reanimation decks. Haven't had a spot for Jailer. I know it got so much hype in the beginning of the season. We'll see if it does any good here. Playing some Annex Sentry. This card's actually pretty cool as well. Way to just remove some blockers and allow us to keep attacking. And then we have Unctus, which we did play in our original list as well, but this one's actually pretty sweet. It gives all your other artifact creatures plus one, plus one, and gives you a chance to possibly draw some cards. And then we're going to be playing both Urzas here. We're going to try Urza Lord Protector, which actually makes your artifacts cheaper, which is pretty sweet and has a little bit of bonus action we'll talk about in a second. And then, of course, the other Urza, Prince of Krug, which can just pump all of your artifact creatures for two, which is awesome. And it does have an upside of occasionally being able to copy something, which is kind of neat. And of course, the Mightstone Weakstone, because we are playing the other Urza, so there is a chance we could flip it, but we're not going to lean on that. We're mostly playing the Mightstone Weakstone as another removal spell, but late game, if we don't need it, we can actually draw cards. And then the last creature in the deck is going to be Steel Seraph, because, well, this card's just really damn good. If you're playing any type of aggressive deck that can use artifacts or white creatures, you're probably going to be playing Steel Seraph. Otherwise, we just have some lands not doing anything too crazy or funky there. So let's go hop into some games and see how this thing does. All right, we got a Sea Chrome Coast and an Island. All right, we can do a little bit with this. It's not like the most exciting hand, but we, we at least have a couple of spells while we buy some time. Love that this Automaton is going to get to do a little bit of work because they can't just remove that, which is nice. They can target it if they want to. But they're not going to be able to pay for it. You'd be amazed how many times, though, people still target those things. I, I don't understand, but it definitely happens. I've seen it more than once. All right. We know the Surge Engine's going to die here, right? Actually, maybe. If they only have one cut down, they might wait to try to hit the Automaton with it on their turn. Nope, they're going to go ahead and use it here. Fair enough. I mean, they might also just have, like, Liliana or something here. Problem is, us missing land really put us in a bit of a bind. Which is real tough here. Oh, let's see. We could remove the Trespasser, discard something. I don't even think we really need to, though. We could just play Unctus, right? That's an artifact that pumps it, and then it becomes a 4-4 with Unctus in play. Yeah, all right. Seems like a reasonable plan. In the turn. Could have paid some life to draw and discard, which probably would have been useful. What's interesting, if they attack, I, I assume we block? I mean, they could have something that gives Unctus minus something, but okay. They obviously don't have that now. Oh, maybe they do. I mean, alright, I guess I'm game. Okay, I was, I was just going to make him prove it to me. I didn't know what it was going to be, but, you know. Uh, all right, let's go with this and Skrelv, I suppose, if we can't do anything else. Uh, next, we'll just attack with this. Big six ball. Whoa, they just took it. Okay. Wow. 
I mean, I guess if they make a sacrifice here, we're just gonna... I mean, I don't even know. Because Skrelb's really good, but Surge Engine being unblockable shortly is pretty good too. <laughs> just stack up the dudes to eventually block the Automaton. Fair enough. I feel you, opponent. You do what you gotta do, friend. Um, Alright, we're just gonna play this finally and discard one of these... Uh, might stone weak stones here since we got stuck at three lanes. I guess it doesn't really matter. Resolve. Discard this. Uh, till turn. This is whenever an artifact creature. Uh, other blue creatures. I guess. Nah, we're just gonna attack. I'm not going to do anything too crazy here. Uh-oh. They finally get something? Nope. Alright, they're going to two. So be it. Well, next turn we're just going to attack with everything unless they... I don't know. <laughs> Corrupt that, get your dude back, drain us for one. Uh, well, you know we can spend the life to protect it, so. From black. And they're still it too. I mean, the only thing they could have targeted there was Skrelv. Yep. Alright, that was a strange game. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's keep it anyway. Would have been nice to play Scrub on turn one, but, you know, we'll work with what we got, I guess. A little sad here, because whatever we play is probably going to die, so let's go ahead and just play Scrub, because I don't think it's worth losing the Surge Engine here. I'd rather just lose Scrub, believe it or not. Yeah, we knew that was coming, so I'm not sweating it too much. And then we can play Unctus here, which should be fine. And then now we do have five mana for... Or at least access to five mana for the Might Stone, Weak Stone. Okay. That's actually not bad. They can play a land and cast something here. But should be no threat to us. That's good news. Bad news that we drew another Unctus. That doesn't help anything. Um. Hmm. Alright. Opponent just scooped. <laughs> Weird. Ooh. This was, looks like... Well, with three deserted beach, I'm, I'm not digging this, so... Yeah. <laughs> I thought about it for a second. Uh, we'll keep this, get rid of the Might Stone, Weak Stone, and we'll see what we can do here. Definitely want to find a third land. There we go. And oddly, I think we might... I don't know. Let's see what they do here. That's a green-white land? Yeah. No! It's always ossification. That's okay, though. We will go with... Ooh. Actually, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with this guy. And we'll see what happens. Alright, wedding announcements. Fair enough. Let's go... Uh, let's be as efficient as we can here with our mana. Attack for three. Opponent didn't even consider blocking. That was an instant no block. Oh, Hallowed Haunting. Wow. All right. We're going to be up against it pretty badly. Took us too long to draw that thing. Um. Ooh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? All right. I mean, I guess this is all we got. Uh, hmm. Draw and discard. Ooh, I guess it's got to be this. I mean, the good news is, if we can get enough damage in here, we can make something unblockable with Skrelv. So, that's a real thing that possibly gives us an out. We'll see. 
But it's another hollow haunting here. This is gonna suck a lot. It's probably some type of exile effect, honestly. Ooh, Katilda. Oof. Oof. That is not cool. That sucks a lot. So what do we do here? We can give Automaton unblockability. We can draw and discard. But then what? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. All right. I mean, it's not much, but, you know, it's what we got. Just attack with this. Ooh, that does not help. Dang it. That's rough. Alright. I mean, opponent's going to be able to gain plenty of life back here, so... Can't imagine they'll have at least one enchantment. Alright. We get to counter that. Uh, we'll just pay the one. They do still get to attack back for six, though. Which is very real. We need an ossification for that Katilda. Not that. Uh, okay, well. Same deal as last turn, I guess. And then we'll just... Give this protection, or uh, turn it blue so we can actually draw and discard this junk in our hand. Mm, I mean, sure. It's something. Might be too little too late, though. Unless their hand is just garbage, which I can't imagine. All right, that's probably gonna do it. Yep. Cause now it's just five fives and like, I mean, we could block one, double block. I mean, yeah, we're in bad shape. Yep, best thing we can do is ossify that and it has to be right now. Oh, a backup Katilda. All right, we're dead. <laughs> like, we got nothing. Um, let's mulligan this. I mean, we're on the play. I wanted something just a little more aggressive. We'll keep this scrapping. You know what? Ossification. That's probably going to be a mistake, but only one way to find out. I mean, I say that. I guess we could have got Steel Seraph since we can't really cast it. That's probably smart. Alright, this isn't too bad. We will not block. Ossification, pretty nice. I think we're just going to go with this here. And pass. Alright, Annex Sentry. Sure, you get Unctus. Sounds like a plan. Eh, not what I was hoping to draw, but I guess I'll take it. No attacks. Probably going to play the silly game of Ospeth flying a sentry to get our dude back next turn. And like, that whole thing. So we're probably going to end up at three. Oh, I thought they were going to get rid of one of our automatons here. Nope, they're just going super wide. Okay. I was going to say that. Come on, give us an opportunity, please. 
<laughs> okay. Not attacking just yet. I'm assuming those are defensive cards, so we can't go after... Okay, now it's going to become a little bit of a problem. Though we can Surge Engine and make it unblockable over two turns, I suppose. And we did manage to only end up at one Poison so far, so that's pretty good. Jailer doesn't do much in this fight, but uh, we'll just pass. Let's see what the opponent wants to do here. Slaughter Stinger, sure. Attack. Obviously going to try to protect some things. Blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. Um, I think it's kind of... Let's go here. Let's block here. Let's block one of these. And I guess we'll take two. I mean, take four, but two poison. They're obviously going to protect one of those creatures there, right? Maybe they protect them both, truthfully. Okay, there's one. All right. And... Oh, not protecting the other one. Nice. Okay. That could have been way worse. So whatever it is, it could be a white protection spell, but it's not a green one. So we know that much. I'm really hoping we... Well, even if we draw a land here, I think our plan is already to ossification uh, target a land here. Since we know they can't protect it. Uh, let's go with this, and that's probably it, in the turn, mostly because I don't want to get too low just in case, like weird things happen here, and this way we know we can safely block and kill off their stuff and they can't punch through, all right. That's neat. Don't know if that's where we're going just yet, but I don't hate it. Um, hmm. We could pay for that. You know what? I'm just going to do this. And we're just going to give the automaton one of those flying. I'm going to say, if you got something, let's see it. Alright, that's eight. I didn't bother drawing and discarding because, I mean, I'd rather have the sentry here. All right, assuming they're going to all out attack, we're going to block a bunch of things. Yep. Sure, those all resolve. No surprises whatsoever there. All right. Blocking one of you. Blocking one of you. Blocking one of you. And you. And that's probably it. I don't really want to put Unctus at risk in case they have, I don't know, give all your dudes plus two, plus one or something here. Oh, you're going to besage you, our Unctus. Well, I can't protect against that. That's pretty well pretty well played there, opponents. Uh, don't know if it changes enough for them. Sure. Uh, yeah, still seems fine. I mean, they're only at eight. Like, we still have plenty of attackers, and they have no blockers. Yep. We'll get rid of that. And attacking we will go. All 
All right. That was a good solid win. Okay, this looks like it might work. I just realized I've had... Well, Annex Sentry is actually a little better in some of these fights, but a little worse in others. This can exile an artifact, which is nice. So we might do that to go after that uh, Bat of Rebirth, because then even if something dies... Uh, what are we going to do here? So now if we play this, opponent could sack. It takes their whole turn. Don't know how I feel about that. Whereas if we do this... Uh, I think we do this. And if it takes them their turn, then we'll just use the sentry to remove the vat, I think. And then force them to use a kill spell on that. Think it's going to be the play? Okay. Well, they opted not to do any of that. So that's okay. That could have been much worse. Alright, well, we're finding mana, so that's good news. And we'll just pass. Oh, they've got double Atraxa. Ooh, that's gross. Well, I guess we're hoping we can hold on to this Annex Sentry for a minute. <laughs> Because that's the only way this is going to be a positive for us. Intriguing. Mm. Do we take that or do we just kill the Harvester? I don't really say that because then we kind of get to control. The I guess we kill the Harvester. Because we don't have a way to deal with the... Uh the key reflection of Kiki Jiki thingy. And this at least gives us a way to do some things and not lose our boards. Alright. No attacks. Yeah, too much mana on this hand, unfortunately. We gotta find something that pumps our artifacts or something. Or this is just gonna get real ugly real fast. All right. Yep, you got it. Cruelty of Gix. Yep, have fun with that. All right, this is the first time we're doing something like this in one of the videos since I've changed my format. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the list I played going into this, but I actually wanna make some changes and try something else here, which I think is just going to be better. But we've got three Skrell, four Ossification, three Disruption Protocol, four Surge Engine, four Patchwork Automaton, two Soulless Jailer, two Annex Sentry, three Onctus, one Urza Lord Protector, four or three Urza Prince of Krug, two Mightstone Weakstone, four Steel Seraph, and some lands. Now, I want to change this up because... I think we can just do better. So there's a couple of things I want to look at because we have some cards that definitely underperformed, which are not great. But I'm wondering if we could play the spell bombs cheap, what the blue and white ones were. Uh, is that not what they're called? Okay, there are. The skull bombs, sorry. So the white one is creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying, you draw a card. Uh, or just draw a card. And this one's return a creature to its owner's hand. I actually could see these being good in here. Because it could be used offensively or defensively. Could protect a creature or could go after something. And I could be kind of down with that, to be honest. I think that could be really good. So, the tough thing too was disruption protocol. Like, it was nice if we were already ahead and we were trying to protect a win. But... It didn't feel like it helped us push toward a win, but I think we still want some counters. So I'm trying to figure out what that looks like. I'm not 100% sold yet. But Soulless Jailer is only really good against the Reanimator decks. And honestly, the more I think about it, if we were playing the Skull Bombs, we could just bounce whatever they reanimated anyway, right? So we're probably better off just doing that. Uh, this Urza... Man, these only cost one. I... I 
I thought this was going to be better. Don't think it's worth it. I think I'm willing to cut one of the Urza Prince of Krugs. Mightstone Weakstone. We had one game where it was kind of funny. We copied the Mightstone Weakstone, but like it, it didn't really do much. I definitely want to play more Annex Sentry, especially if we're going to be running into the uh, Poison decks and whatnot. I think that could be pretty good. Let's play two spell bomb and maybe two two of this one now the one thing i will say too is surge engine while neat didn't uh, it's tough i don't know if i want to cut surge engine or not it's basically where i'm at i feel like we could do without it and play something else but i'm not even 100 percent sold on what i would want something else to be if that makes sense um though that's not true i think i know what i want something else to be actually i think and this comes back to kind of what we played beginning of the season. What is the name of that, uh, Machiko's Reign of Truth? This. I think this probably works better. And this does a little bit of something for us. I mean, it gives us fewer things to play on two and on one, which is a little bit tough. Uh, man. Yeah, this, uh, man, this is tough. And I think if we're going to play against Mono Black, we kind of have to... I mean, Disruption Protocol is actually probably still fine. Man, there's just so many tight decisions to make with this list. I think, though, we did cut the mana cost way down, so we could maybe skimp on a land. What do we got? 12, 13... Oh, we're actually playing 25, so we can skimp on a couple of land, actually. Uh, we did also end up going heavier on white. So that frees up a couple of spots. What if we played Lauren's Escape... That would actually protect a couple of things more. I mean, it gives something indestructible as well. So there's that. So, I mean, we're finding a little bit of room here. Like, squeezing, making it real tight. <laughs> there's there's not a lot left. Uh, let's see. 10, 11. So we got 23. I also don't mind. Let's see. If we could turn a land into a mite, I think we could do that with Merix. Because this makes an artifact creature. I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. Uh, there's the thing that copies an artifact. There's a land that does that. This? Uh, I mean, seems okay. I don't know what we'd necessarily turn it into, but if we could turn it into like a Steel Seraph, that would be pretty cool. Something like that. I don't, I mean, because it doesn't, still is legendary. So I don't know if I like that. Maybe we don't play it. Uh, we could get away, though, since we're playing Ossification and Machiko's Reign of Truth. We could play Roadside Reliquary and get away with maybe two of those if we're real crafty. Uh, would have to cut some other lands here. Uh, these maybe. Oh, Man, this is getting tight. <laughs> And I probably need to cut one of those for an Igonjo. I don't know why I wasn't playing one of those earlier, honestly. So this is closer. Man, this this is... Mm. I almost want to say F it and just go all in and turn these into creatures. Because the way we're built now, I just don't see how many turns we're going to have where we're not doing something. I'm willing to just try a couple of the flyers. Flying, Vigilant, this thing. And maybe this is what a list looks like. Unctus, Prince of Krug. We got the roadside reliquaries. Some cheap early stuff. I don't even know really if we need the white spell bomb. I might... Actually, was that the blue one or the white one? That's the blue one. We'll keep the blue one. We'll cut the white one. And then I think we go ahead and we can get away with two counter spells. And I think we just do that. We go back to two disruption protocol. So I think let's try this and see how this works. This is probably going to be more fluid for us, I think. All right, we're keeping it. Let's see what we can do. Automaton we are going with. Kappa Tech Record. That actually destroys artifacts and enchantment, does it not? The Death Touch counter on it, whenever there's damage will be made, remove a Death Touch counter, exile target artifact enchant target player control. So that's that's unfortunate. I could have not taken a damage here as well. I think, sadly, 
I'm gonna play this just so I can make sure I can block a cap attack wrecker. <laughs> Which is silly. Uh, yeah, vigilance doesn't matter. No attack. That thing just randomly doing some damage to us would suck. It does have death touch. So we kind of have to trade or we're just going to lose our stuff anyway. I mean, I say that. I guess we would lose the Seraph and then nothing. Nah, it's probably still worth trading. I'm okay with that. I'm going to go with this. Go ahead and play this. And pass. Alright, Gwenna, you got it. Okay, we could bounce a duder. Yeah, we just bounce Gwenna. Eh, not bad. Uh, attack? Wasn't quite sure what big crazy thing they were going to try to play here, but figured Gwyneth was going to allow it. Now that we have mana open, we have both the disruption protocols, we're probably okay. Oh, that thing's juicy. Uh, yeah, no blocks. It's a shame I was not able to leave mana up to deal with that. Though... This does make this a 9. So, here you go. Oh, I should have... I did not attack with my swooping outlook. Gosh dang it. Thing has vigilance. And now it just gets blocked by Kadama. Uh, yeah, no blocks. You got it. Well, it's at 6. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and counter that. Might as well just pay the one. Yeah, put that here. So you're forced to block there. And then attack. Alright, that works. Ooh, we're going to mulligan this. Oh no, this is not much better. Alright. Alright. We need to draw something off the top of our library that's significant, or this is going to go downhill fast. Oh, especially against red. Eh, okay, you might be some marginal value. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Another Commando Face Cogson. Wow. Okay, bringing it. That means the next thing's gonna be real big. Whatever it is. Alright. At least if it's a squee, we get hit with it once, we can remove the squee and then just see what happens after that. It was a squee, look at that. Alright. Though we are at 10, so that's, that's real. They could also just have another squee. Because... I'm pretty sure I would be looking for another squee. No attacks. I think we're just looking to play Unctus next turn. Ooh, they don't have burn spells because they definitely would have attacked there. So that's some real good news. Play this. Get us some relevant creatures to put in the way. Uh, lifelink, but we're not attacking. Okay. Did we hold the fort? Looks like we did. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, lifelink here. All right. Oh, again, I didn't attack with a swooping outlook. Or lookout. I don't know why I've, the second time I've done that so far. 
Not like it matters. I think we're pretty good here now. Yeah, Phoenix Chicks, not going to be enough. Yep. Whew. Can't keep this. This, maybe. We might be able to work with this a little bit. Um, Going to play Lookout into that. You know what? I'm supposed to keep Lauren's Escape, but I'm just going to draw a fourth land. I'm going to draw a third land and a fourth land on time. Got to will it to happen. All right, attacking. All right, you got an underdog. All right, well, we got the third land. Question is, what are we getting rid of here? I think it's just get rid of underdog. And see if we can just keep pressure up. All right, come on, deck. Ooh, that's annoying. Unctus, you are almost correct. But we're definitely not correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, attack with this. Why not? In the turn. This is tough, because if they attack, we don't block. They play... Shieldred, probably. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, decline. We'll just take a hit here. Oh, Obliterator. Well, that's a whole different problem. And no ossification there, so that's tough. So what does this look like? If we unctus... Actually, I guess we'd be looking to Urza first. Urza still dies to everything. Hmm. Unctus could give us a play next turn. We could bounce Obliterator attack with everything here. Take six, seven. The problem is we're just not dealing nearly enough next turn is going to be the issue. If we do that. And could take a huge amount in return. Because that's 11, 12, 13, 14. If they want to pump it, we'd be forced to block. That might be enough. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. That, that, okay, it could be. All right. Okay, they're not attacking with everything. All right. Resolve. No blocks. Let's see how bad it is. All right, we're at three. Invoke Despair. Shieldred. Okay. We bounce Shieldred. Then what? Oh, I can only do that as a sorcery. Oh. That doesn't quite get us there anyway. Dang it. I was thinking we might have had an out. Maybe. Play this. This grows. Hmm. Give it flying. That's seven, eight. They blocked the other two things on the ground, so that's no good. Man, we were just a turn behind here the whole way. All right, I guess this is all we can do. To not die. Give it lifelink. Attack. This is interesting because if they want to kill it, they need to block it with Shieldred. Yeah. Alright. So can we get through for enough? 
Opponent's at 11. We're at 7. Whew, this is going to be tight. If we play the Urza Prince of Krug, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's only 10 in the air, so that's not going to get us there. Alright, do we just take 5 here? Okay, that's the smart play. I can't blame them for doing that. But, we could force them to spend mana to keep their sleeper alive. So that resolves. We will take the action and give them a card. I don't know if we could safely go to two. Because Invoke Despair means we just die. If we block with the sentry, we could give up a land and a spell bomb. Or a skull bomb. Man, if they go land, invoke despair, we're dead if we take the five, right? If we keep the other creatures, we would have to top deck a land. But again, we already said that's not enough, right? That's four, six. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna cut it. All right, we just let them land Invoke Despair. We just die. I mean, if it's another Shieldred, we're dead anyway, though. Ah, that's just so many so many ways that goes bad for us. All right. I mean, this sucks, but I guess we have to do it. This is the only way we don't die. There's, like, too many other cards we could die to if we don't do this. All right. All right, so that's a real thing. Man, an ossification would have been sweet, by the way. And this. All right, we found a land, so half the plan came together. Give this lifelink. Attack. Opponent goes to 5. We go to 13. Alright. In the turn. Still not great. But it's something. I don't know how we're not just dead. I mean, their hand has to be insane. Because they're not playing lands. I mean, we take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I mean, maybe their hand's just all the Invoke Despairs and I don't know what else. I think here, though, we just give them another card from the Shakedown Heavy. We use Unctus to block Underdog. Hope that's enough. I think that's all we can do. If it works, awesome. Sicko comeback. But uh, if not, this is going to be very sad. Okay. We take the action. Let them have a card there. Do we just live here? Yeah, right? Block here. Block here. Actually, we don't even have to block. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. They, they don't have anything. It's it's fine. Sure. Wow. I don't know how we got out of that. Sick, sick beats. Oh, my goodness. That's so good. Whew. All right, y'all. So after all that, the version we're going to go with, the second one played much better. So we're going to go with two Lauren's Escape, three Skrelv, three Swooping Lookout, two Surgical Spell Bomb, or Skull Bomb. I keep saying Spell Bomb because that's what the old ones were. Four Machiko's Reign of Truth, four Ossification, two Disrupting Protocol, four Patchwork Automaton, four Annex Sentry, three Unctus, two Urza Prince of Krug, four Steel Seraph. Lands are going to be an Igonjo, four planes, two Ottawara, one, or two island, one Ottawara, four Attica Waste, four Deserted Beach, four Sea Chrome Coast, one Merix, and two Roadside Reliquary. Uh, sadly, we didn't really get to see these lands come up except for Merix, but we just needed it as a regular land. But I think they're not going to hurt things too much based on how those games played out. But yeah, overall, second version was actually pretty sweet, so I think this is what we're going to have available to download.
So yeah, this is an interesting thing where like the concept was kind of cool where we started, but where we finished was a lot cleaner and it made a lot more sense. And I think it gives us more outs against more things. Uh, yeah, this this one's one I think you get away with playing with on the ladder and have some fun with. And the games, as you saw in those later ones, actually played fairly quickly. Partly because we have more flyers and we have the Machiko's Reign of Truth. So that definitely speeds up the clock quite a bit. So if you're looking for ranking up with something and you wanted to play some blue cards, here's one way you can do it. And you get to use a pretty sweet Urza in the process. And now for today's card spotlight, we're going to talk about Grand Abolisher. Partly because this card is ridiculous. It's a little 2 mana 2-2, two, two, but it actually keeps your opponent from effectively doing things on your turn, which is kind of awesome. And this thing is still like $30. It's kind of due for a reprint. I don't think there's been... Let me go double check. Uh, yeah, there's only been three printings of this. And one of them was in a Commander 2014. The other was in Arch Enemy. So it hasn't had a widespread reprint. Would not be surprised if this shows up in a set or maybe in the list slot in collector's boosters over the next couple or set boosters i should say over the next couple of months it's a type of card people be happy to open and chase down and this actually gets used in a lot of different things so yeah keep your eye on this card because i could see it being scheduled for a reprint sometime soon and if you enjoyed this deck list i have another artifact list for celestia that you might also enjoy that's all i have you for now we'll see you next time